Andrew Tate has been a bit of a trending topic on the internet, so much so that his name appears higher in search engine results than ever. Since going viral, the 35-year-old former kickboxer has amassed millions of admirers and critics, as well as enormous riches during his career. From a kickboxer to a self-proclaimed trillionaire, how does he make his money and what is he worth? What's, what's that net worth, you know? Keep watching till the end of the video to unravel the dark truth about Andrew Tate. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Andrew Tate was born to an African-American father who was a retired Air Force sergeant, a professional wrestler, and a chess player. With the father being a chess master, he began learning chess at a very young age and competed in several tournaments. Andrew won the Indiana State Chess Championship when he was five years old. Partying and scamming others for money by playing chess were all parts of his life. All of a sudden, his mother and his father parted ways, and then he moved to England. While attempting to make ends meet in a hostel with his brother, sister, and mother, he lost one of the most significant people in his life, his father and his chess coach. How are you going to learn chess if there's no chess community in your neighborhood and you can't find a teacher? Andrew has decided to replace chess with kickboxing. Fighting can be compared to chess. If you lose, it's your fault, and you can't place that blame anywhere else. Tate made a name for himself in the world of kickboxing. Throughout his kickboxing career, Tate was sponsored by his side, Kickboxing, which provided him with the best equipment, including the original Ultimate Boxing Gloves, to help him practice. He won his first ISKA Kickboxing World Championship in 2009 and is now a four-time ISKA Kickboxing World Champion. Since then, he's acquired prominence on social media for his radical beliefs and has appeared as a guest on several podcasts including InfoWars, which is hosted by Alex Jones, a famous player in the far-right conspiracy theory movement. Andrew claimed that his kickboxing career made him even more motivated, taught him the value of hard work, and introduced him to many influential individuals. In a nutshell, his fighting career boosted his credibility and made him more well-connected, but it didn't make him wealthy on its own. Andrew Tate became wealthy through his kickboxing career, but it wasn't enough for him. Imagine waking up one day and wondering why you spend seven hours a day fighting when you could be doing something else. What else might you accomplish? What's the purpose of becoming a world champion if you can't afford a Lambo? He was trying to figure out how to get rich. He started depreciating his assets and obligations. His only asset after years of fighting is his six girlfriends, all of whom live in different parts of you know, the world. Being a champion kickboxer might not get you a Lambo, but it does have its benefits. Attracting women who believe that you are a world champion and that you are wealthy. And it just so happened that as he was exploring the web, he noticed an ad in the corner that said, talk to live girls now. He clicked it out of curiosity and suddenly everything made sense. That's when he decided to start a webcam firm. But none of the women that he's dating are aware that he's dating other women. So he called all six of his girlfriends and told them that he had a job for them and that they would be coming to live with him in London. Four of them arrived. And he introduced them to each other and he said that he was beginning a webcam business. Two of the women stood up and left. And other two, well, they chose to stay. That marked the start of the webcam industry. Many difficulties were encountered in the beginning. Teaching two women and gaining more money from them proved to be far more difficult than he anticipated. He initially became rich. Andrew Tate called himself himself. He called himself broke after leaving his kickboxing career. The webcam business My Free Cams, which he co-founded with his brother, allegedly earned $600,000 per month with 75 women working for him at its peak. Andrew and his brother's earnings were then invested in cryptocurrencies, yielding a tremendous profit. His subscription uh, course witnessed a rise in demand as a result of his appearances on so many podcasts where he discussed his controversial and frequently criticized opinions. Andrew currently has very little involvement in the business, but he gets 20 to 30% of his ex-girlfriend's webcam earnings. Andrew Tate first gained public prominence in 2016 when he competed in the 17th season of Big Brother UK, which marked the start of his meteoric ascent to stardom. However, after a series of inappropriate tweets were made public and an explicit video of him assaulting a woman with a belt appeared, he was booted right out of the Big Brother house and removed from the game. Both Tate and the lady have denied that any abuse occurred, saying the videos only show how, well, they, they show consented sexual activity. Tate's already established himself as a notable figure in the world of kickboxing before he appeared on Big Brother. Andrew Tate's principal source of income is his internet business, Hustlers University, which he co-owns with his brother, Tristan Tate. Hustlers University is an online school that sells a variety of courses on making money, getting with women, and connecting with other business-minded individuals. Hustlers University is a limited enrollment program, which implies that anyone interested must pass tests and pay $50 a month to enroll. And yeah, he's currently got over 100,000 subscribers, which adds up to, uh, yeah, $5 million every month through the Hustlers University alone. 
The business concept is based on an affiliate marketing scheme, which then allows members to profit by referring other potential purchases to Hustlers University. Critics have slammed the business structure in this regard, claiming that Hustlers University is a pyramid scheme. Members, on the other hand, help to spread sales by sharing Andrew Tate's material and marketing the courses on his behalf via social media and other types of multimedia. So, Andrew Tate's program is a self-sustaining enterprise that generates significant sums of money, perhaps millions. In addition to Hustlers University and webcam company, Andrew Tate's casinos are a third major source of income for him. Andrew liked to go to casinos and try his luck when he was broke. According to his internet persona, he's put money into a few casinos in Romania, where he currently stays. There was a sponsor who owned many small casinos in Europe while he was commentating for RXF, a cage fighting show in Romania. Andrew wanted to partner with him to launch a casino business, however, the, the sponsor was affluent and his business was already booming. So Andrew needed to devise a strategy. He approached him and he asked if he could open a casino using their branding and his own money. If it was a success, Andrew would pay the owner a share of the profits. When Andrew saw how expensive coffee was at Starbucks, he began giving out free coffee at the casino. The free coffee drew a large amount of customers and the casino began to make money. His overall gains from these casinos, however, are now unknown to the public. The War Room is a worldwide network with members, spaces, and clout in almost 70 nations. This is just one of the many courses available at Tate's Hustlers University. And it's also one of the most expensive. It contains a wide range of expertise, allowing them to influence individuals all around the world. Its members have attained or are working towards independence. The War Room has several telegram groups are on various topics. Finance, geographical locations, legal documents, fitness, biohacking, and other topics are covered. The members claim to have changed people's lives by educating them about how insignificant money is. As a War Room student, you're invited to War Room Summits, and it makes no difference if you're not a millionaire if you want to sign up. The entire premise is that you'll become one. Prices are said to begin around $4,833. Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan Tate run OnlyFans, a management company. Andrew, on the other hand, stated that it's his brother's company. Andrew stated on the Your Mom's House podcast that the company makes roughly $200,000 per month. He also stated that his casino earns more than that. Andrew Tate just declared himself a trillionaire during a live stream with a Twitch streamer, Aiden Ross. I made my first million when I was, say, 27, and then I had 100 million by the time I was 31, and then I became a trillionaire quite recently. However, there are currently no trillionaires anywhere on the globe. Andrew Tate's net worth is estimated to be around $350 million, despite his, you know, claim of being worth a trillion dollars. It's said that he owns other enterprises in addition to this one. However, there is no confirmed evidence about this. Due to his opulent lifestyle, millions of people followed him on social media until he was banned from TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Because the person posted undesirable stuff, social media corporations have taken action against him. Although Andrew Tate has been banned from many social media platforms, which has hampered his growth, he's still producing significant cash through his diverse commercial ventures. And if you liked today's video, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button as we keep on posting crazy content like this. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you later.